Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and I thought I'd bring you a quick video and we're going to look at this token here, SFP, which is SafePal, alright? Now, one of the reasons that I wanted to do a video about this is I actually had a Zoom meeting with the, with um, I don't know whether it was one of the founders or a representative of this token, well it wasn't actually a token back then, it was just uh, the concept of the wallet okay uh, this was sometime last year early last year right and um i had a zoom meeting with a guy in hong kong an american guy i believe he was in hong kong or shanghai if i remember one of those places if i remember correctly and um we talked about the wallet you know they sold the wallet to me they they, they sold it to me in terms of um and concept and uh you know it was a built product at the time they were going to send me one so i could test it out they wanted me to do a sponsored video on the coin okay but we couldn't make the deal at that time right but um yeah i'm actually quite surprised to see that they've actually got a token and it's listed on binance okay so that's definitely interesting i think one of the unique selling points about the safe power wallet was the simple fact that it was only 40 dollars, even at the time which i believe it still is now 40 dollars in comparison to 100 dollars for a ledger nano s at the time because there was no, no ledger nano x yet um and you can actually trade in the actual wallet right you can trade in the wallet okay so that's something that was uh, uh interesting to me and it was a unique selling point for this and it's definitely i mean now i mean if you look at the product you can actually trade on binance in the actual wallet i believe okay so it's definitely got a good working product it's definitely got a good chart uh, by the looks, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And if we go on Coin Gecko, you see the market cap is you know mid to high range. Okay, three hundred and fifty-one million. Okay, but it's not in the billions or anything like that. So still quite low. Three dollars and twenty-two cents at the moment for five hundred million supply. And a lot of people will be happy with this because this actually launched on the Binance Launchpad, okay? And it started off at 10 cents. You could have got into this at 10 cents, right? And it's up thousands and thousands of percent from that range. Obviously, you can see it's $3.17 at the moment, but it went to around $4, okay? $4.32 actually, um, roughly about four, 5,000 percent, all right? So from 10 cents, guys, within just a couple of days, okay? Because this went on... This launched on the 8th of February on, on Binance, right? Crazy. I mean, crypto is just, it's so, it's so surreal sometimes. I, I, don't, I don't believe anyone that got into that realized that, that this was going to take off so much, so fast, so quickly, all right? And we've not even had much of a sell-off, all right? So people do seem to be holding tokens. Of course, a lot of profit taken around this range, okay? But we do have a double bottom formed over here okay you got one bottom two bottom and that has broken out of this triangle as well as we as as we record in this video you can see that it has broken out of that triangle but it does have some resistance over here uh i think once it breaks that it scars the limit for this as well uh, so yeah i mean safe power sfp definitely one that you should check out go and check it out on binance and uh yeah let me know what you think in the comments about that as well Okay, so Bitcoin, of course, breaking out. Uh, we know that Bitcoin has broken out of an ascending wedge, which is normally a bearish pattern. I actually find that with Bitcoin, it does this a lot. So you have to have a contrarian view when it comes to trading the charts because there's a lot of stop loss hunters out here as well. Okay, but um, Bitcoin, in my experience, okay, whenever trading Bitcoin, it tends to do the opposite of what TA presents to you, okay, TA would say that this would fall down, okay, because it's a bearish pattern, but then what does Bitcoin do, it breaks upwards, it can happen both ways, right, you'll get a bullish pattern, and uh, Bitcoin will break bearish, you'll get a bearish pattern, Bitcoin will break bullish, and it tends to do that a lot, and especially in a bull run, okay, right now, we need to see some continuation on Bitcoin, all right, in order to remain bullish on that. But yeah, um, this could go, you know, we could see 60,000, you know, very soon, guys. All right, another one, just quickly, is Polkadot, 
all right polka dot is moving in the right direction remember when bitcoin's taking off and when you when you when you when you're trading these altcoins you need to be extra careful you want to look for those coins that, that you want to look for those coins that are moving in the right direction okay um in this case we know that polka dot is moving in the right direction so this is still bullish okay um is this run overextended we'll have to wait and see okay the volume is dropping off a little bit but i reckon that this can still push upwards we've never seen a bull run out of polka dot before and um you know this this is definitely kind of leading the bull run at the moment or it always seems to aside from bitcoin um in terms of altcoins polka dot is making moves all right guys it's outperforming ethereum it's outperforming bitcoin i mean polka dot is definitely one that you shouldn't sleep on keep your eye on that because you know we, we don't know how far this can go right this could be in the hundred dollar range pretty soon for all we know it's a bull run right oh alt, alt season this year <laughs> is on track to being a crazy alt season probably the craziest alt season that we've ever seen and some people haven't been around for for alt season before i mean alt season is going to blow some people's minds but yeah i mean polka dot keep your eye on that one that's definitely looking kind of bullish definitely looking really good and if you look on coin market cap you'll see there is actually a lot of green in the market right now a lot of green look dogecoin is actually falling okay i believe elon musk uh, he put a tweet out slamming um not well not completely slamming dogecoin we know before he was talking about dogecoin in a positive light since then we've seen some you know him talk about the fact that there's some whales in dogecoin which you know he doesn't feel is that safe to hold all right it kind of puts him off a little bit and that could put some people off but yeah dogecoin is definitely falling we can see that cosmos is up quite a lot look at that atom all right 59 percent okay so yeah i mean you want to look for the bullish coins bullish tokens at the moment right now we're seeing you know this this is bull season right bull season kusama's up 82 percent look at that okay these polka dot coins guys i'm telling you don't sleep on these polka dot coins okay we talked about a couple of earlier uh, if you look at uh, uh today's videos two polka dot coins we talked about we talked about reef and we talked about uh, lit okay so go and check those out guys as well all right uh, i think that's about it want to wrap that up kind of get some dinner all right guys so um yeah do me a favor and tap the like button okay and subscribe to the channel as well that definitely helps and uh yeah i will see you in the next video